Hey, welcome to Mark's Garage. Glad you're watching. I'm a retired engineer working on this 47 GMC restoration and a few other projects in the garage. Here's another quick update of things I've gotten done over the weekend. Put the shock absorbers back in. Of course, I still haven't found my cotter pin assortment, so I've got the old paperclip flag uh, thing going to remind me to put the, the cotter pins back in. And back in there, that splash guard, I've had those cleaned up and painted and sitting in a box on the floor for a while. I put those in on each side. Bring around the other side, same shock absorber. There's the splash guard underneath the springs for the brake and the clutch. And of course my flag, I've got two cotter pins to put in there. One for the brake clevis, one for the clutch. Uh, mechanism. Seems like just yesterday I pulled that manifold off to repair it and now I'm waiting for the spring to come in to fix the flapper on the exhaust manifold. But what did come in yesterday, I ordered it in November from Amazon, was uh, the master cylinder. Now Amazon kept sending me notices that it's coming later and later and later until they finally said hey we'll let you know when it's coming so i went on ebay and i picked up this one it arrived in a few days so i'm going to put that on today all right got the old master cylinder set up in the uh vise i need this clevis and that nut to go on the new one but i figured while i got it in the vise i might as well clean it up with the wire wheel before i take it off I'm also going to clean up i'm going to reset the vise i don't know if you can see it this is the uh the metal cover the new one comes with a plastic cover I think uh, the metal will look more original. So let's clean this up real quick and we'll move on. Yeah, that cleaned up pretty good. I'll spray both those pieces with uh, the Rust Oleum uh, Rust Inhibitor. Oh, you know, I think if I can take this off or not. Get that on a little better. You'd think it'd just come right off without. Hope I don't ruin it. I'm going to have to go get a three quarter inch wrench put on there. Let me go get a wrench. seem to want to go. It was a fire wrench. See if that helps. Try this on the flats. There it goes. I'm going to leave that right on there. Bring it right down here with this piece. Bring it right to the spray booth here. There's the uh, manifolds from yesterday. And I'll set this up and, and paint it. One of the things before I paint cast iron, I like to hit it with the torch, get all the moisture out. That makes the rubber gasket burn if you're inclined to do that. But keep moving. Is that torch right in front of my shot? Sure it is. Oops. Okay, cylinder's in place, clevis is attached, um, found the pin, I was afraid I forgot where I put it, but I found it. 
just gotta reach in here, put this nut on, which I'm gonna have to jump over here. <clears throat> and more exercise climbing around things. There we go. Can reach that pretty easily this way. Fortunately, got a good picture of my backside. There's one. It's just a nut and a split ring washer. There's two. There's the brake pedal arm. And there's the clevis. I didn't see a washer. Uh, I'm thinking it doesn't have a washer. But let's tighten this up for now. Everything's all wet because of the. Uh... So what's driving me nuts now is I can't find my cotter pin assortment, which I know I bought. So what I had to do is I stuck a paper clip into that clevis down there but keep it there now before you say hey what kind of hack uses a paper clip notice i attached some surveyors tape to it that is to indicate that it needs to come out that's a flag if you ever watch like uh, aircraft they have flags on the missiles and stuff they take them off before they fly this is the same deal that's a reminder to me that i need to find that uh, cotter pin and not to drive off thinking that it's all ready to go just another footnote to the um, brake saga there see the springs and the spring extension I had no idea how to re put those back in I forgot all about them and I found them um, I knew there was a spring on the clutch so I, I was looking up in the manual how to install that and then I said let me go look at the pictures I took and sure enough, there was a spring on the brake, there's an extension on the brake, and there's a spring on the clutch. And of course, I didn't know which was which. But fortunately, I took pictures when I took it apart, and that is how I think it goes back together, if my pictures are correct. I can't say, that, you know. So, I'm starting on the brakes. I just popped the, uh, the cap off, the center cap off the front left tire, or front left hub. And look at that. That's uh, that looks like me brand new grease, right? That's a good sign. That remember, I bought this axle from Ron up the road. I'm thinking he did a brake job and has this thing ready to go. I got my fingers crossed for when I take this drum off that this looks like new brakes inside. Let's just see. Yeah, so I'm excited to see this brake come off or this drum come off see what's going on in there I haven't done brakes drum brakes on a front brake I don't think I've ever seen it before I mean you know this is old stuff just like to date myself but I was belong to I think it was an Explorer post maybe it was a it was something to do with Ray Bestis the factory was in Stratford next town over and uh, I hooked up with them through, I forgot how, but every Thursday I think we'd go over there, maybe it was Wednesday, and they had a bay, and the guy would just teach us brakes and cars and all sorts of cool stuff. The guy's name was Bill Martin, I remember him. Wild Bill, he called him. Drove a Toyota Subra. This had to be 19... 78 or so. So, big fat cotter pin, which reminds me I still haven't found my cotter pin assortment. I'm waiting for it to jump out at me. Let's see what's going on under here. So, if I remember right, this nut. It's a big fat washer. 
and then got my knees in the way, and then the bearing. Plastic bag to throw everything on. So you don't lose everything and everything doesn't go in the wet concrete floor. That should be a bearing, if I remember right. Oh, look at that. So, Plenty of meat on those pads, but they're a little rusted. But look at that um, that axle. I would guess it's a new bearing. It looks brandy new. Um, brake pads look pretty clean. I don't know if it's safe to use them or not. At least going to vacuum all that out before I put this back together. What I think I might do is check the other side. Now the back ones are the original ones, so I might go pull the other, take a look at the ones that are on the rolling frame in the backyard. But uh, that don't look half bad. I might get out the shop vac and vacuum that up a little bit. Spray it with some brake cleaner. Maybe just take it apart. Hit it with lithium grease in all the right spots. Hmm. Let me think on that. So I was all set to replace this wheel cylinder. And I got the wheel cylinders ordered. And they came in early, actually. They weren't through until next week. But check this out. This one arrived. I got a two. It's broken. So I, I got them through Amazon. And I go to send them back. And for some reason, they want seven bucks to send it back. So I wrote the company and figured maybe they'll just send me another one and save the shipping. Why do they need a broken one? But uh, I gotta check my email and see what the result of that is. But in the meantime, I'll at least take the good one and change this one out, get it done. All right. So I gotta start with getting this hose off. This brake line, this hose, then I can free up the. Uh, Free up the uh, cylinder. I just remember when I did this, it wasn't exactly easy. I put it on. So coming off, hoping it's going a little, a little better. And coming off, I mean, it's not going to be that bad. I'm hoping because it's all new line. Nothing's rusted anymore. Taking it off the first time doing these lines the first time was a real hassle so, I think the hard part to put it back together is just getting these threads started without cross threading them I'll just disconnect this brake line real quick I can put some gloves on because it's a little chilly in here this morning step up my game I'm getting behind on things so okay the lines free now I'm gonna pop that retainer off I don't know if that's gonna fight me or not or how easy it's gonna come off I remember last time they were a real bitch to get off because of the uh, I think they were rusted on I think hit with the uh, air chisel I actually popped it off yeah I don't know what I'm gonna use this time uh, Big screwdriver? No, because I can't get on it flat. Let me get it from under here. Ow! Bang my finger into the uh, spring. I think it moved. Go to the other side. There it goes. Come on, a little more. That's 
to this side. I just can't see it over there. The flashlight Put that way. You know what? I think a little harder, a little higher. Get under it that way. There it goes. Ta da! Yep, there's my hose. Now I'll take that hose off. That looks like about a 9 sixteenths. I've been guessing wrong lately, which is really 5 eighths. Oh boy. We use the uh, where is it? Six point wrench. The flare nut wrench. There it is. Five Broke loose, no problem at all. Get that out. Still got a little, whatchamacallit, in there. Now that's definitely half inch nuts. So we get the socket on that. Break these loose. Break my ass in the shot again. Before I let that all the way out, I want to open that spring up. My vice grip. here on my knee. Grab it right there. And just do that. Just let it hang there. That can open up. That'll open up. Perfect. What I'm going to do, I think, maybe PB blast this stuff here just to keep it Flexible, because I'm not going to remove these shoes. I don't think I'm smart enough to. <sighs> Brush grease all over my hands. <sighs> Master cylinders in, hose is reconnected. Went pretty easy, actually. Now, what I remember is going to fight me the most is right over there that connection that hard line connection to the hose just getting that started it's just a short piece of uh bent hose bent uh brake line and i just got to get it threaded in it's going to take me a few minutes to get it started took a minute a couple minutes of playing around with it and then i had to reach back and you know it connects on the other side there's a junction block not too far away, and I loosen that up just to get a little more play. But uh, I'll button this up later and see what's next on the agenda.